is something I don't do often. I wrote a poem yesterday uh, because I spent, you know, the last few days here around music, musicians, friends, flowers, and I want to read it on a cell phone. She, she should never do. Um, see if I need to find it first. Okay, uh, and, and the reason I wrote, you know, I was talking to, to Dean the, the last few weeks, you know, prior to uh, preparing for this. And, you know, many people are complaining San Francisco is not happening anymore and this and that. So, uh, and I wrote a poem titled, Who Says San Francisco Isn't Happening? Um, who Says San Francisco Isn't Happening? Mid-September, where were you yesterday? Sunday in the Golden Gate Park Botanical Garden. Gardens and pianos and 25,000 people under a blessed sun. Opera, more thousands of happy people at the band shell. <laughs> Communally happy. Music happening. Kids, dogs, parents, flowers, bees, trees, birds, singers and players. No need to name the hundreds of musicians, but Cap Choice had to be mentioned. Man, what a poet and musician. By the way, <clears throat> next weekend he opens at the Symphony Gala show, 22nd. The music kept going in celebration. Everything this city is about. In celebration, everything this city is about. Diversity, acceptance, inclusion, peace and love, poetry at the mid corner, lounge and shade, the Golden Gate Symphony, Ravel and Chopin, Grace of the Great Meadow, and the evening we feasted at an Ethiopian restaurant on Irvin Street, San Francisco Jetain. <laughs> then down to the mission to the Royal Cuckoo, Chris and at the organ, Lavai Smith, Mr. Lucky. No one goes to bed in September in San Francisco. You just need to know where to go. And yes, we are all aware that Tenderloin is a challenge we must overcome, and we shall, with pianos and people coming together, San Francisco. Thank <laughs> you.